Good morning. Now, oh, good Sunday morning. This is Chuck from Styrene Bender's Garage. And we're here for uh, our version of uh, model cars and coffee. Um, today, well, we're going to change it around a little bit. It's going to be a model truck and coffee for this one. Now, uh, this is... Uh, this build was done about seven years ago. It was one of my first attempts at seriously weathering something. And um, it's the first truck build that I've done since I was a kid. Um, a young kid. <laughs> Not so young anymore. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I'll get this thing turned around. We'll take a look at it. It's the, uh, from AMT. It's the International uh, Pay Hauler 350. And uh, show you what we got. Okay. This here is the AMT Pay Hauler 350. Um, I think it was a construction series that AMT put out a while back. It was one of the, you know, one of the models in there. <clears throat> and for some reason, you know, I'm normally a car builder. I'm not normally a truck builder. <clears throat> and for whatever reason, this one here just caught my eye and it hung on with me for two and a half years to get it to this point. Um, also, I hadn't done a whole lot of weather and just, I think I'd done maybe two models with some light weathering and stuff on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is where this is the result of two and a half years worth of work I had some very extensive uh, detail pictures for this that I used to, to model it and uh, let's see some of the features The rams on it were scratch built because the kit rams every time I put them together they'd break apart when I lifted it up so I made my own um, I run a there is a mess of plumbing that's been wired up on here uh, you can see some down in here you'll see more when I take and get it over on its side It's used to stay up by itself, but I, oh, there we go. Oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> I got to do something different with the pins back here. Plus, there's some stuff that I was wanting to do to this that I didn't do, and I got the urge back to take and do a little bit more, so it's up here in, uh, in the work area. I'll work a little bit on it here and there. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? I tried to make it look like it's, you know, it's not a used and abused piece of equipment, but it's got its, you know, it's been driven, it's been used. Uh, you can see I tore, tore up the seat a little bit. Every uh, heavy equipment piece, piece of heavy equipment that I've operated, the side where the driver climbs in has always got a wear, wear spot in it, so I put it in on this one. There's another one up, uh, up by the headrest. Um, let's see here. I'll bring around this side. I lost the cover for the battery, so I got to make up a new cover for that. Um, paint, uh, Dupacolor, uh, yellow spray can, and white out of the spray can. No clear on it because I didn't want it to get shiny too much. Uh, when I was doing my weathering, I see some spots that came out shiny, so I'll be addressing them. Uh, 
There's the engine. That's all been weathered up a bit. And uh, can't do it right now, but you can pull the dipstick on this to, <laughs> to <laughs> check the oil in it. Uh, I even got some oil on the dipstick. I'll have to you know, give me a minute. I'll get a pair of tweezers and I'll show you. Powered by a Detroit diesel, dual supercharger is on it. Oh, shit, I just broke it. Well, it's in here to get some work done on it. Anyhow, you can pull the dipstick and check it for oil make sure it's got oil these things don't run without oil and Detroit diesels are known for leaking now I have to get that back in there um, and I basically weathered this using uh, some old railroad paints. Uh, something that I picked up out of a collection somewhere along the line. But our dipstick's back in. This will show you a little bit more. If you look towards the back there, right in between the rams. You can see some of the plumbing that went on back there, some of the hydraulic hoses, and, or I mean, those are fuel lines, rather. Uh, and they come on up to the pump and get distributed out from there. Um, well, if we tip this up on its side, I normally set this up with a mirror underneath of it so people can see this. But there's a whole lot of plumbing that got wired up through this. And the front axle on, you know, up to the hydraulic tank and all the places it goes from there. I still got to put some air lines in it. Um, but this did take the best in show. Uh, and hopefully I can do some more work to it so you know they can do even better well, anyhow make this short and sweet that's my uh, uh, cars and model car or yeah model cars and coffee <laughs> video <coughs> except like I said we got Pepsi in model cars all right, I'm going to wish you all a good day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.